Hi, welcome to Indoor Volleyballs as well as vvvolleyball.com and we are now going to be reviewing the Spalding TF5000. This is one of their main balls for indoor volleyball and I'm here with uh, AVP great, uh, AVP pro Anthony Medell and former USA national team player Cassie Bussett. And uh, take a look, tell me what you think. Definitely slippery. Feel to it, huh? yeah. Really? Uh, how, how does it feel odd? Uh, well, number one, it was just it was real, real slippery. Just, just kind of feels like, uh, yeah, I hate to say, it, but kind of a cheaply made ball. Um, really? Uh, maybe like an all-weather type of ball. Yeah, it'd be more durable, or I would say it would be a little more durable. Be able to kind of withstand, you know, like I said, all different types of weather. All maybe stick it through the serving machine. <laughs> yeah. Except for like when I was passing, it felt like a little bit heavy, a little bit hard. Yeah. So Very if this is coming at plasticky. me on the serving machine, it might hurt a little bit. <laughs> really? Uh, so overall rating for this ball feel? Three. So two or three, yeah. Two or three. Very low. Okay. Um, anything else you guys want to add? Overall feel of this ball, everything else? Total, total volleyball uh, review? Definitely not one of my favorites of the day so far. Yeah, I agree. Okay, so you heard it here. This is the Spalding TF5000. Uh, alternatives? <laughs> Anything else? <laughs> <laughs> I'd okay. say probably the Mikasas go with it, more of an indoor, different kind of paneling than that slippery, heavier plastic It seems plastic like a material. weird ant paneling a little Isn't bit. Isn't it though? Yeah, it's hard to grip, didn't yeah, you think? Yeah, definitely. This doesn't seem like a very, uh, you know, a very well-made ball. Okay, uh, to find out more information on these and other indoor volleyballs, go to indoorvolleyballs.com or vbvolleyball.com.